Gate 14 podcast, and we are in the midst of one of the most bananas baseball games I have ever seen in my life. It's it's two teams pretty much saying, you want this shit? You want this shit? You want this shit? Here, you take the win. It's, it's I don't even know what to say. But anyways, we'll start it off here. JR, how are you doing? Good, good. I don't want to, you know, say anything about my prediction yet. Obviously, we've been big on the reverse jinx, so it's not going to happen. But, I mean, some people here had some (laughs) bad predictions. Well, we're not going to name names. We're not going to hold each other to these predictions. (laughs) I thought this was, we're not going to be held accountable, so I can say whatever I want. It's becoming a staple now, people are. What a play by Matt Chapman. I mean, this fucking guy. I wish I could. All right. Um, anyways, Avery, how are you doing, man? This, by the way, this game is just, it, it, it's absurd. The Red Sox are absolutely pathetic at hitting. They are terrible. I'm not going to lie. I slept through most of the game so far oh, today. Oh, boy. Yeah. So anyways, I'll give you a little recap. The Red Sox had bases loaded, no outs, didn't score. Second, third, no outs, didn't score. Runner on third, no outs, didn't score. The whole game. That's <laughs> The, and the, with like the Georgetown tying. goats could have gotten at least one of those runs across. No, that's now we're pushing it. But we got uh, a good offense. We got a really yeah. good offense. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is uh this series has been crazy, man. I mean, we could say it, the Jays are all the way back. Like win, win or lose this game. If they lose this, we can say the narrative. Of, like, is there a team that hates sweeping more than the Toronto Blue Jays? I don't care, but this would be the tenth this time they had all... a chance to sweep and wouldn't have swept. Remember at the start of the year, we couldn't sweep, like we kept winning series, like 2 1 every it's single ten, series. It's 10th time, Avery. I, I saw somewhere that it was nine already, and this would be the 10th, I believe. Yeah. The, the wow. Red Sox are our bitches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, it, it, Bobby Dalbeck and Jaron Duran are two of the most fraudulent hitters and prospects of all time. Don't like, get Abe going on fucking Bob. They were talking. I about, love Bobby Dalbeck. I, they were talking about Jared Duran like he was the second coming of Christ coming out of the fucking uh, Red Sox prospect. He won. He was in the Olympics for Team USA. All this shit. Like this guy stinks out loud. And I might be jinxing this because he's actually hitting right now with runner on second. <laughs> um. Okay. It's still one two count. But yeah. Why? Wait a second. You like Bobby Dalbeck? Are you fucking? He's blind? always high on him before the season. I just think he could run his way into 40 home runs, and this year he can't hit 10. So <laughs> he can't. Just me. <laughs> it's just you're me. 30, just not, you're no. like 35 home runs off. Yeah, not even close. I thought. And now, gonna... they're, now they pretty much are saying, Bob, you're fucking get out of here, Bob. Bob might, meet, uh, might holy shit, might need some uh, eyes checks. I think he just swings and misses a little. I actually, and I'm under a premise here, like if a major league hitter is struggling at the plate, I'm always under the impression that maybe his eyesight's not good. Like he got to the big leagues, right? Maybe his foot, fu- maybe throw some fucking glasses on the guy, like Jameis Winston style. LASIK, yes. maybe? Is that crazy to say? No, maybe because just, Tommy, uh, Tommy uh, Pham got new contacts last week. He oh oh my God, Jared Durant punch out. What a pathetic loser. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Is that two One outs more now? Mono. Two outs, Johnny? Yeah, two outs. But uh, this is incredible, by the way. We should do this every time in the ninth if it's like a cl- or well, It would be nice if we could game. live stream on Instagram again, but so- like that's been taken away. Ah, uh, I just you- tried to again, and it said, like, uh, we've actually temporarily disabled your live stream. Why, which- how did we get banned from live well, streaming? Well, I, I did that YouTube. thing where it, it was. Oh, <laughs> we got banned on Instagram for live streaming? Well, I could do it. On- you know what I was thinking? Or maybe we could brainstorm this with you guys. I was thinking of starting a Twitch channel. Like a gate fourteen Twitch and just live streaming just random games like whenever it happens. Yeah, that would be great. That, that would be sick, especially for the playoffs. Like, mm-hmm. well, we would just throw for- we would just throw it on YouTube, not Twitch. Oh, you could do it on YouTube. Yeah, same. You can but do you need a certain amount of subscribers, Abe? No, I I did it with the official official pod once when I had the game okay. of the year with the Diamondbacks and they lost ten nothing. Um, yeah, I, I, we should really start doing that because honestly, like the, the listeners and stuff are really interactive and I think they'd like it and a pop fly to first base. Vladdy camped under it. He gives away Calvin Biggio and he catches the ball and the Jays sweep the Boston Red Sox. They go into Fenway and they drag their fucking balls on the table. They go to the Yankee stadium, take three or four, go to Fenway and take three. The Jays go fucking six and one in a seven game road trip to Fenway and Yankee stadium. 
do you fucking believe in this team? Because I do now. Holy shit. You knew it was a different game today, too, when Kevin Biggio made a good base running play to kind of win this game. It was uh, it was very odd to see. And yesterday is a game that we lose 10 times out of 10 usually before uh, this team is all the way back. So, no, it's been it's been awesome. And it, it just it's seems just, so much cooler winning at Fenway. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Are you? Do you think Yankee Stadium is a cool stadium? Any of you guys? Yankees? Yeah. It's pretty. Like, I'm sure if I was there, I'd be like, it's pretty sick. It's probably like, you know, like the stadiums that have like the little things about it. I feel like it has that. A little quirk. Like if you were there in person, you know? I can't believe we have to go watch games at the Rogers Center. Like, that's just where we. Hey, we got rhinos coming, man. Yeah, we got massive rhinos coming, but. Listen, if this fucking series this last week doesn't make the ALE shook, I don't know what will. You go into Yankee Stadium, you take three or four from those pathetic losers in our comment section roasting me on a daily basis, and then you go to fucking Fenway and you sweep those motherfuckers, Mm. the Toronto Blue Jays are all the way back, and I don't give a fuck if I have people in the comment section saying, you were roasting this team last week. Yeah, I was roasting this team last week because they were losing to the fucking Cleveland Guardians and they were losing to the Baltimore Orioles. No shit I was roasting this team. They are all the way back. This is how I expected them to be. They are a fucking wagon. I'm the happiest man of all time. And Avery alludes to it. Avery always talks about it. He just feels a little more giddy when the Jays are back. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're a little happy there, eh, there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Do we, I think we get a Marcus Stroman return to Toronto on Monday. Yeah, that, that's. You think he's expecting like a full on ceremony? I, he is for sure, right? He's expecting yeah, he's, like fucking curtain call. Did you bet Fuck, the Cubs I guess today? He hasn't played. Sorry. He hasn't played in forever. He got shelled today. Yeah, he did. shelled. I bet the card. Don't look now, but I am hot on the old gambling machine. It's right before really? not football looking. season. I've started betting on soccer, uh, Johnny, and for You're my welcome. year. My European soccer thing is during the week. If I know one of the teams and I don't know the other team, I'm going to bet on the team that I know. That's and, not a great philosophy. I'm going to warn you that right now. That's not uh, a great philosophy. I mean, West Ham just fucking destroyed some team today. They were minus. Oh, yeah. Point. That's like the weird. Call, yes. Like, not like Premier League cup stuff. Cup. Yeah. But I, I will give you guys a lock for tomorrow for the listeners. Um, it's Inter Milan Lazio over. Um, the, the Both teams just they hate defense. They just play strictly up it's going to be it's an overs and maybe lukaku to score if these hits i expect some dms from people thank you johnny all right i just want to warn you on that i might another have to put breaking, it on my card man my put on your card put on, put on your card but another breaking <laughs> news stop start uh tweeting your picks a little more eh? um yeah, no because your... they they suck and i don't want to be held accountable yeah that's true i wouldn't do that either so <laughs> by the way breaking news uh we did it we got the president we got jeremy roach to come out and golf with the guys on saturday CEO, entrepreneur, uh, TikTok star, Jeremy Roach will be playing golf with the boys on Saturday. Royal Woodbine, buckle up. Um, Jer, what went into the thought process? How did the schedule clear up? Well, we have the <laughs> we have the big tournament. So next weekend, for you that don't know, we have a huge Ryder Cup. All three of us are on the same team. So we'll be able to get some content out of that. So I just need to start fucking training. I'm going to the range Saturday morning before a round. Jay, I'm going to be honest with you. It's a little late to start training for this. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, I'm a late bloomer when it comes to training. Yeah, I'm a late you're, like, you're, like, you're like that kid that was like five foot two till he was like in the 10th grade and then started throwing 98 and <laughs> like the 11th, 12th grade. That's who you were. I actually essentially Dustin May. Like Dustin May in the interview was like, I'll be honest with you, man. I was dog shit in high school. Like I threw 86 and now I throw 101. Oh. Okay, that gives so just me hope. F- Fifteen mile an hour difference. <laughs> that gives you hope, Jer. It gives me hope. Well, you're. you're, you're I mean, next weekend's going to be electric. The fact that we're not doing handicaps in this tournament is like great for me. Yeah, that is kind of dumb, but that's fine. I. It's just too. It's too hard. The handicaps we did it before, and like the issue is, is like the guys like Ave are like seriously like it's just like their handicap is what they shoot. Yeah, I'm like, a, there's not I'm really like a, much. It's only going to go down, really. Like, it's tough to really beat it. Like, he's only going to beat it by one or two strokes. So, like, yeah, I'm like, a, I'm a five nine well, right now. A guy like I'm like me, a two six. Who knows? <laughs> like, I shot a 90 last last year in the tournament and I got 10 under technically. 
<laughs> yeah, the way you guys did it was <laughs> right? definitely wrong. But I'm looking back at this video I just posted, and there is an absurd amount of spit coming out of my mouth in the celebration. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that video. If, that, if that's on TikTok, the then it'll be people will make oh, fun people of People are going to call you saying No, it's not on TikTok. Don't worry. Okay. I, I know my boundaries with that stuff. All right? Yeah. You should make a um, remix of it. Do Sammy Sprinkler in the middle. <laughs> we need to talk to uh, Zuckerberg and get our fucking live streams back. It's, I don't get it. It was a joke about dying two weeks ago. Like, you think Who, that's the temporary limit is two weeks. Like, we I'm might just be doing too much. Yeah. I'm telling you. Maybe guys, it was, oh, the ridiculous. Hitler one too. Yeah, that was ridiculous. <laughs> we do need to <laughs> talk was... about that. Five so anyway, so fame. you know what's crazy is I don't understand if you're like trying to protect Instagram, like all the integrity and stuff like that. Well, why would you keep the video up for seven minutes? Like, I know it was the exact time. It was up for seven minutes and I had like 25 likes. And I was like, oh, like people are actually watching this. So for the 25 people that had the privilege of watching that video, I mean, you were a part of history. You'll never, I, we're deleting it. We could screenshot, eh? Like maybe we could like give like a little sneak peek, like <laughs> screenshot three moments. Like when they say is number three on the charts. I mean, they just you won't. Think they would know. No. Yeah. Because it's still Hitler. Like, but like the other guys yeah no that's too. that video is not that video is done I, I say it's like if you if you were like, after we i thought be, about it I was like it was the dumbest video ever to post like of course we're not gonna put hitler in <laughs> yeah well like what we should do is is like exclusive think about club. It, like you have to truly if you but the mm -hmm. thing is though the video is like three minutes so out of the 25 people that liked it probably only like six people got to watch the whole thing because it just fuck it's you know what I'm saying? Shame. There's so got to be like, something we can there, do. If you watch that video, please reach out to us because I'm dying. I, I need to know if like someone out there like knows like the. You know funny... who probably got a hold of it? Who? Nash. Nash. <laughs> Nash. Nash. <laughs> Shout out Nash, by the way, for listening to this. Uh, well, he probably is listening. A massive fan, which is crazy. Is <laughs> it's crazy is we post like and obviously like our lowest interaction page is Twitter. So we post the episode graphic to Twitter and we just get a response to our tweet. Large is fine, boys. Love the pod. Let's go. It was like I had, a, I had a really good laugh at that too. It was like, all right, man. There it is. <laughs> there he is, Nash. The all guy. Right. Yeah. Speaking of this series, boys, we got to get into the series. Is Yusei Kikuchi done or finished? <laughs> I thought that he was, was great, man. Class <laughs> that was a master class <laughs> inning. Point up. two, point two, four, three walks, two hit by pitches, or one hit by pitch, and did not get out of it nearly. Like his, but that strikeout though, huh? That strikeout though was special. <laughs> I now that everyone hates him, I'm officially like he's my favorite player on the team. Like and now everyone's out. It's time for us to buy low on Yusei Kikuchi. And you know, I'll tell you what, that stock is as low. It's 0 0.01 cent. We're we're buying it as a penny stock. Honestly, he is. should pitch the extra innings because he just pitches better when there's like two guys on. So I wouldn't say that. Start the guy at second. Guy. Well, sorry, his outing starts when he gets two runners on base. Like nothing else so, happens. So what you're saying is he's the most used to it. Yes. He's the most used to <laughs> I guess, yeah. No, he I put him. He at, must put himself in the most high leverage situations on this Blue Jays staff. Like he doesn't come into the game, he doesn't inherit high leverage situations. He pitches himself into shitty high leverage situations. So maybe he should be the closer if Romano <laughs> struggles at all. I'll be honest with you, man. That appearance by Romano today was, in my opinion, the best that he's had all year. I mean, he comes in in the ninth, bought back against the wall, no outs, bases loaded, gets out of it. There, it is the Red Sox. It is it is the worst team in the AL East. But and then top of the ninth, obviously, or top bottom of tenth, you get a runner on second to start, and you're only up one. What does this guy do? He drags his fucking balls on like, against the Red Sox and gets out of it. Like we have that narrative. He's terrible on the road, which he is. Obviously, look at the stats. But man, tonight was like a Jordan Romano coming out moment. Like this team is made. This team is going far. Let's fucking roll because he was dynamite tonight. He went, he did the exact same shit Felix Bautista just did for the Orioles. He's uh the velo seems to be back. The slider command has been really good this year. There's a sports net article on that um today, if you guys want to read that. But no, I it's nice to see him just performing well because again, hometown kid, like you love to see it. And this bullpen, 
again, you sent you sent in that tweet today, Johnny. Um, yeah, let's how, read it out. Let's talk good about the bullpen. bullpen's actually been. And and there's like that narrative. And listen, we've been hard on the Toronto Blue Jays bullpen on this podcast, so, rightfully so, because they have been terrible until the All Star break. It, after the All Star or since August first, sorry. Toronto Blue Jays bullpen has the fourth best ERA in the American League and the second best stranded runner rate. That is good. That's what takes teams above and beyond. We we're talking about teams like the Atlanta Braves who had a great bullpen last year. The Orioles have an unbelievable bullpen. That's what takes you to the next level. The Toronto Blue Jays bullpen again tonight didn't fold. And what do they do? The Romano obviously shuts the door, holds him down. Simber does a decent job out of the bullpen. They're back. I mean, this bullpen has saved this team a ton of these last, like this last week, a lot of games. The Jays, have, the Jays bullpen has saved mm-hmm. them. Yeah, the rate or sorry, the Red Sox aren't a playoff team, but there was very playoff game feels to these two games, right? Where for sure, um, where the bullpen had to come up with a big strikeout, which we haven't got earlier in this year, and that's what's going to be in the playoffs we, when we make the playoffs. Hopefully, um, there's a lot of high lever situations. You need a strikeout, and we've started to get that, and it's been awesome to watch. And, I mean, we're talking about, right, the Jays being the bottom five bullpen in baseball. They're 13th now, man. I mean, they've worked their way, and they're .01% – or I don't know why I even calculate to say that – behind the fucking Cardinals. Like, this team is working its way back to being like – listen, do I think the Jays' bullpen is as good as they've been playing this last week? No. But do I think they were as bad as they were playing, at, like, before August 1st? No. I think they're somewhere in the middle. Is that crazy to say I- – I don't think they're as good right now as what they're doing. And I don't think they were as low as their uh, floor. I think they're right in the middle. That's what you think, Jer? No, I just. They're just not that good. (laughs) I don't, I don't believe those numbers, even though they're, they're real, but I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Like who, I mean, we need our guy. I mean, my guy. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. I was like, God. who are you talking about? And then I oh. then I realized. Make Him and sense. Julian Merriweather coming to save the season, eh? We need we need just some... Oh, God. it's it's The issue is when a starter goes like... White goes... Mitch White goes like four. And then like Richards is warming up. It's like... The, our middle relievers are bad. But the good thing is in playoffs is a starter will be in the pen. So our middle relievers will be. Well, I mean, Kikuchi's just a write off, like, which is fucking up. No, 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 no. Stop that. No, no, no. I saw one of the Blue Jays uh, writers there. I forget his name. He was talking about how, like, I think it was like right before. He's like, we're going to see Kikuchi tonight. Oh, Keegan Matheson? Yes. Yes. And did you see his tweet after he was like doing shit? He's like, how do we keep this guy in the lineup? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no offense to him, but we can't even put him in spots where we're up like more than four runs right now. He yeah, is... we had to come talk to Kikuchi. It was we were fired up for the Kikuchi out. It, it, the, uh, it did was Kirk, did memes make that video, or did he get it from someone? Because I saw someone else post it too. The Kikuchi, Kikuchi uh, that's on Twitter. Twitter. The Trump, yeah, that, that yeah. was on Twitter. That was on Twitter. That is uh, that was funny. <laughs> And honestly, congratulations to Memes for uh, landing safely in Toronto. Um, That's big news. Big news. Big if true. He actually saw. Memes like a big. Is there an Angels connection there? No. Why would he come down for an Angels series? He wanted to watch the Jays. He knew the Jays would get hot. Okay. And he wanted to. Listen, the Jays are six and one in their last seven. They could very well be like 13 and three. Oh, but this is the issue. This is the issue. It happens every time. Let game is it, tomorrow is it is it Angels down. money line? No, well you, there's there's <laughs> a guy there's a name, Abe knows the name. Uh, he is. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. There's a guy who is literally like the worst better of all time. And Abe knows him, and I put his notifications on so I can bet the opposite of him. Chris and Abbott. Eh? Ju- yeah. <laughs> Expose him. Chris Abbott. Chris Abbott. He just tweeted saying the exact same thing. Let down game, Mitch White. I kind of want to go tomorrow. Angels. Is it crazy? I kind of want to go and just wear a Jays jersey, <laughs> just write white on the back and black marker. Just white. plain white jerseys. Right? That's Mitch White. <laughs> he is. He is. Reed Detmers, going... the 
the Jays are usually pretty good against lefties, I think. He is going to skull fuck the Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Angels, I watched their game today against the Rays. (laughs) They are so unserious. They are like, if I'm Otani and Trout, I'm just fucking Antonio Browning it. Like, I am really free me. Free me. Trout's got to get out of there, man. Trout Trout is wrong. (laughs) In what other sport? Is there another sport on planet Earth where they have uh, two superstars, like two of arguably the best players in in, in their respective sport, and they aren't even anywhere near a playoff team? Is there another sport like that? It's basically the Leafs. True. Well, at least make the playoffs at least. Come on. At least make the playoffs and have regular season success. The Los Angeles Angels... Trout has got has three postseason at bats in his career. Three. <laughs> that is fucking bad. And this is, is really this bad. Is your goat, eh, guys? <laughs> How does this affect LeBron's legacy? It's a it's a good question <laughs> to ask. I'm I'm still a Babe Ruth guy, but uh... Babe Ruth fucking sucks. <laughs> um, dude, and looking at Mitch White, man, three six four ERA. Don't let him get hot. But and then <laughs> I see, really but good. then I see Nick Frasso updates every time. I get on Twitter pretty much. From... Yeah, it's the algorithm has you fucked up, huh? You gotta yeah. stop. Yeah, you gotta stop looking at that. You gotta ma- maybe mute his name. Is that possible? No, because I love him. Yeah, I want him to do well. <laughs> I, I I need to like, it's like what you use for motivation. Say someone you like, you get broken up with, and you like, you gotta hit the gym really hard. It's like motivation you need, and that uh, Mitch White, Nick Frass. Well, when Mitch White's like. pitching Game Three of the ALCS, mm-hmm. we're gonna see who's laughing. That'll be a big fuss. And Nick so Frasso's at home like a Nick bum. Frasso. Nick Fra- I got to talk about this. All right. George Springer right now is the best hitter these four eyes have ever seen. Let me read the stats. His last seven games, which is, I believe, when he came back from injury, he is 14 for 24, 583 average, 630 on base, 750 slugging percentage. 583 in his last seven. 414 in his last 15. And we made a TikTok. We talked about it. He made the clip. When the, it this lineup fucks so much when this dude's in the lineup. It is breathtaking the amount of difference this guy makes. He is so good. You see the uh, he's got like a knee injury now, too. I don't care. <laughs> I'll get I'll sacrifice my knee. We should go to the Jays game and put my knee in a bag and throw it to them when they're warming up. I'll sacrifice it. I don't need it. I really we, don't need it. We did fucking bowl wrap George Springer, but you're right. Him hitting lead off. Would you? I almost. What do you guys to... think of the uh, like the lineup today? I really liked it. Like, Me too. Like, but I think like I was like, fuck, Kirk isn't in there. And I'm almost like, dude, he kind of ruins the flow at the top, to be honest. When uh, George Springer has to DH or when Kirk is in the lineup. Yeah, like when Kirk's in the lineup, like I think he would be good here just playing that role of like a six, seven hitter, man. Yeah. Don't you guys think? Like, I like Guriel at three. Yeah, Guriel, but Guriel tonight was having some unserious at bats, terrible at bats tonight. But like Springer, Vlad, Guriel to Oscar, Bo. I guess you could put Kirk there at five. Yeah, I love hit, I love Kirk in the five hand. hole. Kirk yeah. in the three is kind of weird. But mm-hmm. the, yeah, I, I don't like because he's just a little bit of a plug. He just needs to clean up the boys. He's almost a better two hitter because of when he gets yeah, on base but well, he's not yeah no flat as a two hitter but he's like well, he's under 300 now eh? yeah the only guy kirk's at 302 i think yeah he did oh, down he? there for a little bit but yeah. yeah dude it's just man like george springer is he's so good at the plate i honestly and everyone's like i oh, need him in the outfield in the outfield i don't give a fuck what position he plays just have him in the lineup and this team will be substantially more successful because listen he dhs i guess you have to play kirk at catcher you kind of pushes out jano out of that lineup which sucks but you need springer in this lineup bad he is he is the lead the best leadoff hitter the jays have had and i genuinely don't remember when like who was the leadoff hitter in that 2015 2016 year Pol- ben revere <laughs> oh my god that was it was... no did he i nine? think he was nine I wouldn't even know. He was good, though, for the Jays. Ben Revere? Yeah, he was a little plug. I don't know who you can compare those guys to. It might have been uh, trying to think of some speed on that team. Two low hits, but two, three. Two wet legs. Yeah. 
that game that they faced the yeah they don't really have like Jose many... Bautista oh, three Reyes. Edwin hit four no, he wasn't there the whole time was he who no Reyes was traded twenty fifteen I yeah. think it I don't know who it was people are probably fucking livid listening to this right now yeah that's um, sorry, guys. these guys these fucks don't do their research. <laughs> Um, that. that's what happens when you just talk yourself into things you don't even remember. Lead off hitter. Oh, and we had Donaldson. Holy fuck, dude. Let's see. Show me a box this score for one time. Easy kill Cabrera. Easy kill Cabrera. That was a lead off hitter. No way. Yeah, 2016 ALCS. Easy okay, kill Cabrera. 2015 ALCS and Ben Revere's leading off. Yeah. Ben Revere, he was really he was getting So hot. it's safe to say, yeah, this is the best. This is the best um, leadoff hitter the Jays have had since I can remember, like all around. I wish you could play the outfield because he is so fucking good in center. But yeah, and let's speak about bad defense, bad defense. <laughs> Bo Bichette, I mean, mm-hmm. send this fucking dude to Mars. Put him at. I mean, when I say Mars, I mean second base. But <laughs> send him to second base. <laughs> Who the hell is gonna play short though? Espinal, Espinal is a way better infielder than fucking. The, well, yeah, Bo mm-hmm. Bichette has the worst. What is it? I, I tweeted it today. Defensive Avery, you saw that saved. tweet? He has the worst defensive run saved in baseball. And I don't know if that was totally true. In all <laughs> baseball? I thought it was more yes. shortstops. Oh, you're right. I, I might have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, that... it's probably close, though. Like, think about it. Shortstops one of the last among eligible shortstops. That's terrible. Oh my god, yeah, that's bad. It's really bad. It's in a, an important position up the middle too to have that. Let for Oswaldo Cabrera on the Yankees. So Bobich is at negative eight. Oswaldo Cabrera is has been in the big leagues for a week and he has eight defensive runs saved. <laughs> and he was playing like right field and third base. How does he have that many? I think he threw a guy out at the plate. He did make a really he made that catch at the wall, which saved, I think, a run. Okay. Yeah. And I gotta give a shout out to one of our followers, Cripatron. Um <laughs> he sa- says a ton of out of pocket jokes about himself. Cause oh he is Oh my god, is that what it... Yeah. Oh. So I said Bobachet is the legit worst fielder in North America. He said my disabled legs have more accuracy. Which and... I didn't know how to react to. I just responded to it with like the whoa <laughs> emoji, like, oh, okay. And if you think I... he's lying, he's playing sled hockey in his pro. Yeah, so right shout there. out Cripatron, man, for having like, you know, having, I mean, just being loose with it. You know, I respect that. That's funny. It's a funny joke. So you're, you got to shout out on the Gate 14 podcast, but shout, shout out to shout you out. for that. That was electric. And he, you know, what's crazy is that's a joke <laughs> that's constantly in his arsenal because he commented the same mm-hmm. thing on our TikTok. So I was like, <laughs> this guy's dialed in. Play he the is. hits. Play the hits, brother. He's playing the yeah. hits. The hits. I like that. He's playing the hits. So I got to respect it. But also big news. I'm pretty sure our merchandise is getting is going to be fully done tomorrow. So it's going to get shipped Hell out. Yes. Um, Boys, we don't fuck around here, man. Yeah, it's going to get shipped Quick out. Turnaround. I'm hoping tomorrow. Hopefully it's there uh, uh, after the Cubs series or a little bit Are after Are they doing that, the you... shipping for us? Yeah. You're fucking right. Yes, sir. We still have to pay for that, though. But, like, that wasn't included in it. But, uh yeah, I mean, this is this this <laughs> everything goes great here with this podcast when the Jays are buzzing. You know, it's just positive mm-hmm. vibes. The boys are buzzing. You just love to fucking see it and uh, talk about just fucking like toxic masculinity is what this podcast is when the Jays are buzzing. Hashtag free Andrew Tate. Um, <laughs> just need a dugout. Jared, dog. There's no way you've been able to sleep the past couple nights since with uh, Andrew Tate gone. Yeah, you've been struggling, huh? Dying and throwing up. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, like he never had an account i don't really understand well, I, know, I don't think you his could... whole thing was that he couldn't be banned like that was his yeah thing. you could post his content still right Dave? yeah i've been seeing his content because yeah he, on tiktok they've been uh showing like the goodbye video did you watch it jerry all out i watched it? it all i watched it from uh, i just like saw and... clips and i was like what the fuck there's as if he made this video yeah, because he got like YouTube taken down, his YouTube taken down, his Discord, I think, got and so everything's down. gone. Everything's gone. So yeah, I'm listen, we're not I'm I'm not gonna say I'm a take guy, it's just fucking hilarious. No, I just I he was just nice to see on the timeline sometimes. He's funny. How yeah. people mad how mad people got about him. We also we also have to pump the tires here of Jose Barrios. 
I mean, after that first inning, when he, I think he gave up two runs, right? Or second inning, he gave up a two run home run. Yeah. Second inning gives up two run, two run home run. And then just completely shuts the fucking door for the rest of the, like, he easily could have folded. I know he's a workhorse. That's what everyone says about him. He just works his ass off. So it's good to see him have his fucking, it's good to see him have his comeback. I mean, th- he is, when he is good, I know we said this before. He is my favorite pitcher to watch on the Blue Jays when he's carving, like when he's dialed in. Hey, he has the nastiest shit on the team, right? He does. The the slider curveball pitch when people swing through it, I'm like, how in the world are you guys going to hit that? <laughs> it looks so cool from the angle. He's a walking pitching ninja meme when he's dialed in. He really mm-hmm. is. But um, Avery had a good tweet about Ross Stripling start on Monday, and this guy just continues to fucking dominate. Ross Stripling, man, is he's I, special. Did I send you the um that tweet about Ross Stripling and uh uh Robbie Ray? What is it? They have are they, best, are they boys? Mean, no, no. I think they have the exact same whip at this point in their of the two seasons. Um so Yikes. Robbie Ray last year and then Ross Stripling this year, ever since he went to uh the starting starting rotation so for a guy who wasn't supposed to have a big role on this team that's why you have depth as middle relievers jared you were talking about our middle relievers are shit yeah most middle relievers are shit because they don't pitch in high leverage situations right mm-hmm. if middle relievers were good they'd be fucking starters pretty or, much or so. yeah or like a jorge lopez like type of closer who's like has nasty shit Nah, maybe that's not a good comparison maybe that was dumb but uh we don't yeah. shame here it was that was that was a dumb thing to say. Um, we got. I mean, let let let's t- address the elephant in the room as well. The TikTok comments were wild this week. You were. You, I you got so- really in the mud. And I was <laughs> laughing again. I forget which one. It was like every comment. I'm like, oh my. It God, wasn't I'm every comment. It was ones that really set me off. Like the, you guys are in third place. Um, tell me you don't know baseball without telling me you don't know baseball i just love your your answers are like so aggressive they're so mean they're so mean like they are so fucking mean I, i'm trying to go over my best one like i, I said so i rewatched the bleacher creature video and i didn't hate it the way you clip it in the stitch is by far the most hateable part of the video yeah it's master class <laughs> yeah I, legit master class because uh, I think the players have to kind of like it, right? No. Uh, that you was think speaking... they don't say Aaron Hicks' name in that roll call because <laughs> they hate him so much? They just skip uh, over I, him. I, I found plays. my best one, which didn't get a lot of likes, um, but it, it was my best work. Uh, this guy said, Jays fans, y'all exist. Most blade, blade, bland fan base out there. I said, I know the Walmart version of Long Neck isn't talking right now. <laughs> Pipe down guitar hero because he's playing the guitar. In his <laughs> Being bucket. a Walmart version of Long Neck 2 is legit the lowest of the low. You cannot get worse than yeah, that. You can't. You really can't. But uh, it's just all time. The, the Yankees Yankee creature, creature video. I don't know how I feel about Yankees. Fans. I hate them. Did you see the sidewalk talk after they beat the Mets too? What were they saying? They just. That is a electric piece of content. Um, When the sidewalk. We, we got to do it on a Jays game. But the thing is. They're just Jays, not the fans, same. Jays fans are more mellow. Like mm-hmm. we won't be able to go around after a massive, like, for example, if the Jays won this game at home, right? The fans wouldn't be bombarding the streets going, let's fucking go, like going crazy. True. But after a playoff game, they would after go a nice. playoff game, that video would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Like man in the streets type of shit where it's like, you, I guarantee you, we could ask him questions. Like, what do you think about that play from Jose Reyes? And majority of these bandwagon fans would be like, he's fucking awesome. I love Jose. The, the good thing about the, si- the sidewalk talk funny. is they don't ask them questions. They just scream into a mic. They don't, <laughs> they just give them the mic and these New Yorkers just yell into it. They can't do anything else. It's all. Oh, they know. dude. It's so all time. It It's, um, yeah, I will say I don't mind the Mets. I think the Mets are like a fun fan. I don't know. They're one and the same, actually. Actually, no, they came at me on Twitter with a Strider interview. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I yeah. see. I, I feel the same way, too, that Mets fans are better than Yankees fans. because No, they're not... definitely better, but I'm not saying they're like... It's, it's the 27 range. They're drinking the that... same water. For That's sure. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, the they're shitting in the same toilet. 
Mets, yeah, Yankee fans are just like a bunch of fucking losers. Like, I, well, they hate me the most. And listen, this is why. And someone make that meme of that soldier with his arms out guarding the bed. Uh, <laughs> Avery and Jr. is in the bed, and Johnny is the soldier like this, just catching the fucking strays well, from you, Yankee fans. But they're not strays. They are because you are putting a pointed attack at Yankees fans. <laughs> so, I uh, was, I, I didn't so. The thought process of that video, it didn't catch Yankees Twitter until like earlier today. And that's when it was just comment on comment on comment. Like the third place team, you guys fucking suck. When was the last time you won something, even though like the Jays and the Yankees have the same amount of World Series or whatever since like 1992 or, or no, no, that's wrong. Yankees have like eight in the 2000s. <laughs> or the, but uh, it's just it, it's it's I, are, I think on the surface, we are a bland fan base, but that's. I think because mm-hmm. of we I'm try- we're are. trying to add light to it with the gate 14 boys. Yeah. That's what we're yeah, trying, we're to, trying do. to. We're trying to fix it. Abe. We're trying to create a movement for sure. It but I, yeah, I didn't think that's a horrible chirp, but we show up when it's fucking playoff time, when it comes to big baseball <laughs> games, <laughs> which is hey, crazy. that sounds horrible. That sounds terrible. I mean, you go to a Jays game during the week. I like going to them because we can spread out in the seats because there's no one there. That's legit. I, you I you like it. You I do enjoy that. Game. I do enjoy that. I do really enjoy that. It, it, I do really enjoy that. You're, that's a great point, Avery. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's why point. we go is because we have places to we just kick our legs up, you know, take a whole section to it. But you want to talk about a game that I will not be going to is that Saturday game, obviously, because we're golfing, but oh, it's expected yeah. 50,000 people there. Like really? It's, yeah, it's sold. Oh, it's a 19th. Because the Cubs haven't been here in like eight no, years. No, it's the Angels. No, the Angels, Angels show her. Oh, Come on. Yeah. So well, we yeah, went, no, it, I went to Hunjin Ryu's that. first start for the Dodgers at Rogers Center. And um, oh, I don't know where he's from again. I fucking forget. But Korea. Okay. So a ton of like Korean fan base support. So I think it's going to be a very similar for. Uh, I don't like, think Japanese. it is, though, because listen, they the didn't just have sh- been here, though. Like, I feel like they've been here. No, I but saw, the thi- no, so but my, this is so why- when, my, when my buddy from Japan was uh Shohei that's what's gonna drive people I bet it's 100%. not though because they didn't know he was pitching till a week and a half ago the reason why it's sold out they're doing the vintage starter jacket giveaway oh, and it's the jacket, 1992 man. uh World Series oh. championship reunion so the whole team's gonna be here that's alive obviously all right and, this fallen soldier. and no do you Roberto think, do you think fans are like we just uh, talked about our fans being bland that is the last fans? thing like people above the age of 50 remember is yeah, the Blue true. Jays World Series like that's all like my parents' friends talk about? Oh, that team was crazy, but yeah, it, it Saturday game. Listen, it's Manoa versus Shohei. It's going to be the tickets Ooh. are probably going to be like $180 for the cheapest ones. I think I already looked and it was like $180 for the cheapest one. Um, that game is going to be fireworks. Like, mm-hmm. is it a three o'clock game or a I don't yeah. think it's on. No, I, I think it's just because usually when it's you guys o'clock, should go, uh, you guys should go Tuesday next week. Why? Hot loony dogs. <laughs> I actually could be down for that. I actually, I'm, and uh, I could be down for that. Three oh seven. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently the the golf course we're playing at is just the planes fly right over it. It's just yeah, airfield. yeah. You can you can <sighs> yes. literally hit a chip onto it and hit a plane. It's sick. No, <laughs> it's all time. Jr. will hit a plane. I'm trying yes. to call. If JR hits a moon ball, he might hit an Air Canada fucking freight train. I got to talk about this guy again, though. I just wanted to pump his tires. Like, we are, my mouth hurts from throating him. Matt Chapman is like, JR. Ever since he's changed to those white cleats, too. Does anyone know the brand of those cleats? <laughs> I, 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 I figured out. He was wearing Nike seat. cleats yesterday. They're like high top white ones. They look like retro almost. He is special. Like, I would I would let my old lady have a fucking weekend with him. I really would. He is that that backhand play that he did yesterday at shortstop. Yes, was he insane. Really good. He would be a yeah, better he's... shortstop than Bo. <laughs> Duh, he's a platinum glove. He would, but like, I think he's one of those guys that's just like kind of like a Manny. Actually, Manny, I guess Manny's played some uh, short. Yeah, he really Chapman wanted to play would definitely short. Be good at short, but oh, Cha- just oh, Machado would be long. okay. And speaking about nicknames. Matt Chapman's nickname is Hurtado. No, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Um, we just don't know. That's a Spanish. Should be uh, chapsticks. No, Matty chapstick. <laughs> Hurtado. What does that mean? 
How about that Fernando Tatis video I sent you guys? To rob okay, or no, conceal. No. That makes sense. To rob or conceal. Because he's nasty at third, so he's robbing a lot of doubles. Hurtado? No. Um, Hurtado. So everyone refer to Matty Shopsticks as Hurtado now. Please. All right? That's what he is. Whoa. What? The reference was pro is to a le- an illegitimate child whose existence was concealed, or to a kidnapped child. So maybe let's not call him Hurtado. Hurtado. <laughs> that is, yeah. that's his nickname, though. And I can't wait. Like if I clip this, the Spanish experts, it means to steal something. Like shut up. But <laughs> Hurtado, that's the definition I'm getting on Google. Um, ancestry.com. Is, that's what are you name. getting? Hurtado is a Spanish surname. Her- yeah, it means to kidnap. But like, I guess he's well, kidnapping. he is kidnapping. But it. I guess. Okay. Kidnapping so base everyone refer to Matty Chopsticks as Hurtado from here on out because the LK nickname has grown. We get tagged in tons of shit with Vladdy with LK and like people saying LK. Um, actually, there was a funny one. So, <laughs> by the way, like. Whoever runs a sports net admin for baseball is should be fired. Like he they posted a picture of Vladdy and the caption was say his name without saying his name. <laughs> and one of our listeners commented LK and <laughs> <laughs> it was all time. I was like, this is fucking funny. Like this is comedy. So yeah, Hurtado. Shout out to the Hurtado, man. That is a crazy nickname for uh Basic generic white dude from Victorville, California. Hurtado. Why are these that, chatting in cleats, Jer? I'm fucking I'm searching all over for him. Are you seeing what no, I'm seeing? I don't get a clear picture of his cleats. They're He's... like they're I don't think they're like his usuals. I think he changed. Let's Anyways, look at this... <sighs> he could uh to Oscar could use some style tips from, from Chapman, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> dude, and, and that Chapman trade, like Ugh. is that a fleece? Gunnar Hogland, Zach Lowe, who gets shelled on a daily basis. Kevin Smith and Kirby Sneed for match for a, a platinum Glover. Looks yeah, I really mean good. the A's are unserious <laughs> in general. <laughs> I I do see the cleats now, Jr. I think those are high top Hirachis. Yeah, I think they're Nike. I thought they were Nikes for sure. Yeah, they're high top Nike Maybe they're Hirachis. Just old. Maybe they're yeah, just no, they old. are an old cleat. I think those okay. are what those are. We, we're gonna get a response here. They um, look like a a creamish color. That's why. They didn't look like. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't fucking find them. Yeah, no. Um, Hurtado. I I can't get the name out of my head. But yeah, it is a. Uh, it is. It's a. It's it. They're the tall Nike ones. So. They look Hira- like Hirachis. The back of them too. Yeah, they are Hirachis. Credit yeah. to me for knowing that, by the way. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's go into this Angel series. Uh. Kind of a tough pitching matchups against against the Jays, right, boys? Reed Detmers, Shohei Otani, and a very good friend of uh, Johnny June to Tucker Davidson go in Game Three. Was so Tucker I Davidson can't... a Brave? Yeah, he got traded for uh, right, right Sal Iglesias. Really? Oh shit! Yeah. Um, Tucker Davidson on the season has twenty two walks, sixteen strikeouts. All right, we're going to stop the badge because he might be getting me free tickets for this weekend. All right, Sunday. Oh, oh Ave. Doghouse. No, I, Avery's invited. <laughs> Avery always has an open invite to those. But uh, thank you, John. Yeah. Um, T- Listen, Mitch White is going to dog walk that I, fraud Reed Detmers. Reed Detmers is not a fraud. No, he stinks. he stinks. He stinks. Not a part of the Jays. He's st- part- going to bet the Angels, man. I would probably bet the Angels tomorrow. No. Um, game God. two. I mean, Alec the Jays are sick against righties, and they're like tenth in baseball against lefties. Yeah, they they're not good against lefties, so that's going to be a. But weird the Angels game. have the highest strikeout rate in baseball, so if you want. And Mitch do... White is known for not striking dudes out, though. He's not a punch out guy. Over three and a half, maybe. Well, oh, something. <laughs> something to think about. <laughs> yeah, something to think about. And by the way, and in honor of Kirk Memes being at the game tomorrow, I think our boost is going to include Kirk. Mm. Um, so that that's that's what it's going to be, but um. Listen, I, I'm gonna say Jay Sweep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I didn't say it for the Red Sox series. I think I said two or three. Actually, Caleb you know, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say two or three. 
because that means the Jays are going to sweep. I say they win Mitch White, and they win Shohei Otani, and Tucker Davidson beats them. Hell yeah. Unbiased. Is Tucker Davidson a lefty? Lefty. Okay. Oh, really? I thought Tucker Davidson was a righty. Um, I'm going to go two and one. We lose Reed Detmers tomorrow. No hitter. <laughs> <laughs> these predictions from this guy just are insane i actually and if they're so, insane until i fucking hit one guys if Come you're on. a listener and you want to get our attention the gate 14 podcast attention please just clip all of avery's predictions with the cl- like <laughs> <laughs> he like, has uh, said some absurd stuff like in the predictions I... yeah so he does say some crazy shit but yeah, that's uh, uh, the red freeze series. Here. No, there we go. Might freezing? You froze there a little bit, but you're back. You're all the way back. Okay, I appreciate that, guys. Um, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm on a heater right now. Yes, we need to. You're on a heater. Sweet. I think you predicted actually the last four or three correctly. Yes, something like that. I'm on a but, heater, and this but, one uh, people aren't gonna like. What is it? <laughs> I'm going one and two. Oh God. <laughs> Oh God, Jr. If I they know. win tomorrow, Easy. you're gonna look like a fool gonna, because like, then it's fucking, like, yeah, yeah then yeah, it's yeah, like the worst the Jays have to do is split. Like they're not gonna get swept on the weekend. <laughs> like you're really banking on Mitch White to lose tomorrow, right? Like that's what you're doing. Yeah, but I <laughs> that... but Abbott, but Abbott to my head, <laughs> Chris, he's been pretty good. Better, so he's not. I don't good. know. I got a weird feeling. Jays have been shitty in spots like this. True. You're preparing yourself for failure. I can respect mm-hmm. that. I'm just, I'm just so giddy, guys. I'll be honest with you, man. I mean, it was fun. You're gonna be the happiest fella ever at golfing. I'm gonna be so I'm happy. Looking, I'm gonna no, buy you there, drink. there, there might you that beer. course, that course owns my ass. There might be a club toss. I, I'm terrible at that course. But um, I'll cart with Ave. You cart solo with the rando. I hope there's no random. I fucking hate golf with random, except Doug. Obviously, Doug. Doug's Doug electric. I. You don't find too many people that you hate when you golf with Randos. I wish I got I'm Doug's a big contact. Golf with Randos. I'm I wish I, I I know, but I wish I got got Doug's contact info. That would have been crazy. Why? So I'm like, yeah, we're going, we're going Royal Woodbine. Let's go. Come out with the boys. Doug was electric, man. So what sick. was Doug like? We never really he was heard just, the story, but you could like see him in the minute. video of me throwing my club, trying or throwing. He was my helping shit. you find a ball, which was nice. Yeah, he's a good he, dude. He did help a lot. He uh, he's retired. He thank um, him for his service. Yes, mm-hmm. he. I forget where he worked, but he told us he was a and, cop. Yes, and firefighter. Yeah, I don't know Double how you do both, does. but he did. No it. idea either. He's probably listening to this. <laughs> Thank you, both. Doug. Doug, Doug, Dougie, Doug. I'm just listening. Is I'm he good up. or what? Is he uh, out there? He's about 85, I think. Decent, but yeah. for retired. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's retired. Um, but yeah. So, like I said earlier, I'm just so giddy. The Jays are playing good. I'm looking at the score app. And on Saturday, there's a slate of college football. Um, it's like, and soccer's or sorry, football, like European football. I get to watch the Prem, and then you go from the Prem to fucking college football. Are you kidding me? Is there a great Avery? You're gonna start because you're starting to get into you're starting to get into soccer. There is nothing better than a t- you wake up. There's some 7 a.m. games. You got the 10 a.m. slate of EPL soccer. And then you fucking go right into 12 o'clock kickoff at noon college football. There isn't a greater thing on planet Earth. I'm just going to warn you. It's the greatest thing on planet Earth. It's it like cool. I do like the uh, the times because they don't really uh, interfere with other things on the weekends as well. But even if you're like an F1 guy, too, you have soccer, F1 mm-hmm. into college football, into a Jays game. Like if you don't have four screens at your disposal, what are you doing? At this yeah. Point? Like you do really you have four screens. I got three screens. I got three screens right here. I I, I was watching. And I got my phone and I have a TV out there if I want to go outside. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's sick. I, Sometimes just... I'll put four <sighs> screens into one monitor chair. You know? Oh, yes, you do do that. I remember you showing the vibes that. are so back like yeah. the vibe. This is awesome. Like this is what we sacrifice shit for. The Jays are in the midst of a playoff race. The Football. dog days are almost over, man. The what? The dog days. Dog days. Almost... Yeah, they're getting close. NFL is back. Yeah. Um, Avery, give the people a little uh, college football pick for Saturday. I Ooh. gave a soccer one for tomorrow. Let's um, give, like, give one. Vandy. Minus eight? Yeah. All right. JR, you no idea, JR. Just pick a team. 
uh, Vandy. Oh. <laughs> nice, <yeah. laughs> All right, man. Good pick, brother. Good pick. This is from um, the T Mac T Mac House. They have uh, fifty three new players. Their head coach has never been a football coach in his life. That's um, that can't be true. Who's who's T Mac going with again? I didn't hear that. Vandy. Oh, he likes Vandy. Spread. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing they're underdogs. This no, they're just... they're favorites on the road. They're favorites. Who are they playing? Hawaii. Hawaii is terrible, bro. Holy fuck, that's T Max team though. I know. So he knows the island. He does. T Mac is an island boy. T Mac island boy. <laughs> He's an island boy. Oh no! Uh, Look at that song. T Mac loves that. Song. Yeah, T Mac does love this. I also like Nebraska. Nebraska. Okay. Also, so t- uh, announce. You know, a couple of the Gate 14 followers might want to follow. Announce your big. Uh, you're making an appearance somewhere next week. <laughs> I will be making an appearance at Owner's Box um, next week. We're going to be talking before I do that, obviously, on Sunday. But I will make an appearance. I don't know which date. Um, I want to be an element of surprise, even though I don't know where the headquarters are. But you I feel can like just I search have... it up on Google, dude. I know, but I feel like I, ha- I have to let you know before I show up. Like I can't because if you guys are in the middle of doing something. No, you really can't just show up unless you're like on a on a live Ava it'd be a little weird yeah Johnny we go live for like an hour a day other than that um okay i'll figure something out it'll i'll make an appearance i, I will um by the way on well, monday we're gonna do episode... that fancy football draft next week so you'll be invited into the office. okay uh, okay i respect that so but, the uh, Elvis surprise goes away <laughs> does go away so the surprise is but gone. johnny tweeted it the element of surprise is now go- was gone when he tweeted yeah i just that didn't want to gonna... show up you know what i'm saying <laughs> Uh, all time saying you invited yourself to the boys got a good chuckle did did they i thought he just said that was it actually just you just tweeted that yeah i just tweeted it like <laughs> did was, you even tell abe i have an open invite there one day i'm gonna fucking own that company and me and sandy are gonna send that shit to the fucking moon um <laughs> lead investor johnny <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah by the way so i'll end it off on this we will be announcing the winner of like the person that's going to be on our next episode with us on that bought the merchandise and stuff like that. So one of you lucky guys that bought the merch, because thank you for following our DM. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, you missed out. Sorry, man. Fuck. Sorry, guys. Nice fuck up. You could have been a guest appearance on the pod. For those thousands. are limited edition too. We ain't selling that shit again. We'll yeah, sell those, those shirts else. are done. Like we're not going to sell those again. The next ones are going to have a different design, but yeah. you are, you're going to be making an appearance. You're going to be on a podcast with, a pretty good amount of listeners getting your voice out there. Obviously, no free ads for yourself, but we're going to be doing it big. Um, make sure you guys ride the Bet99 promo tomorrow. Use Gate14 promo code. Obviously, Alejandro Kirk has to be there because memes is there. It's destiny. I know Kirk is going to go crazy tomorrow f- for memes, right? Yep. But uh, have a great weekend, everyone. Honestly, like this is the best time of the fucking year. Buckle up. Watch EPL. Watch City A. Watch La Liga. And then go into the fucking... Uh, college football slate. Obviously, it's week zero, so it's not going to be great. But just not a very up. good slate. But week one is electric. Week one might be the best slate I've ever seen. So buckle up, guys. We're gonna have a great, great weekend. I know I will. Love you, boys, and uh, let's fuck. Let's go. The Jays are back. Vibes are immaculate. Boys are buzzing. You just love to see this shit. Let's go.